it's Jack, and welcome back to the second part of this Sylvia, Nissan Sylvia marathon that we're doing. If you missed the first video, I'll put a link in the description or somewhere in this video. You can go back and watch that if you want. Basically, we've got two Sylvias. Uh, one's got 159,000 kilometers on this one, and this one's got 204. We stripped all the parts off this one. Uh, we fixed what we could. We've got them in inventory right now. We only have parts from the vehicles in inventory. There's no other inventory. That's all in the warehouse <clears throat> that I had previously. So just, uh, you know, for the record, we're going to restore this one to a full, full good uh, restoration condition. And this one we're going to figure out what we're going to do with. One thing I forgot to mention, I made a mistake because I got rid of all the parts that I couldn't repair. I, got, I sold them all. That was something I did and that was not a good thing to do. And I'll show you why. We've got a cross member, okay, in the inventory that we managed to fix, to fix, that we managed to fix, 100%. To sell it, it's worth 225 credits to sell it, okay? If I look at the value of this vehicle right now in terms of parts value, it's nothing, because there's no parts on the vehicle, which is fair enough, parts value is zero. If I add the cross member, you would expect it to obviously increase. But you may be surprised to learn that if you put this cross member in, the price of the vehicle jumps actually to 810. So the part is worth 225, but when you put it on the vehicle, it's worth 810. So what I should have done is kept all the old crappy shitty parts that I couldn't repair and put them back on this before I get rid of this one. Because even though it might be a, a dodgy part, and then maybe 10, 5, 15%, whatever, it's still gonna earn money once it's back on the vehicle. So that was a mistake on my part. I've lost a little bit of money there, and I would have been in much bigger profit. Because the sale value is not the same as what the value is worth when it's on the vehicle, okay? Just so you know. Okay, back to the plot. We put a new engine in this in this uh, Beastie Boy. Uh, great little engine. Nissan DLC pack as I mentioned before you can buy this on Steam for about four euros and then you get to build engines like this twin cam 16 valve beast of a boy okay but what the plan now is to strip this car of as much as we can and then with combined from the parts from this car and this car we're gonna see what we can actually build and put together and get this one out the door now I'd skip forward the uh, dismantling of the other vehicle uh, yeah, mainly for the for speed, basically. But I'm going to talk through, because, I mean, this won't take long, and I can do the rebuild uh, off, off camera, or off screen, if you like. But I'm going to take this to pieces, just to give people an idea uh, of what happens when you do, you know, dismantle a car in, in its uh, entirety. I mean, obviously, it's highlighting the bits you need to take off, as and when, and all that stuff. Uh, a couple of things, I think, which, which are worth noting. When you do take the parts off, obviously, some you're going to be able to repair, some you won't be able to repair. Uh, and also, as they come off, you're going to know if they, if you've got a, a chance of repairing them. Because if they're less than 15%, then generally, forget it, you're not going to be able to repair them. 36% uh, for that one, so just keep an eye on that to see, you know, get an idea of what you think you're going to be able to repair. I did, earlier in the, the previous video, show you how you actually uh, take these shock absorbers apart on the shock, shock absorber puller. Uh, and of course, because these are completely knackered, I'm going to have to rebuild shock absorbers for for, for this car, basically. So it's going to be interesting to see, <clears throat> not interesting, what I'll point out is the different types of shock absorbers you're going to need for this vehicle, this build. Uh, in fact, what I'll do is I can do that now. The back end has got shock absorbers, uh, but it's got it's quite a complex uh, suspension system on these vehicles. I think this is probably one of the most... Uh, complex suspensions on all the vehicles in uh, car mechanic i could be wrong but i think this is uh this is one of the more complicated ones because you've got the rear shock absorber here the rear sh uh, spring then you've got the spring cap uh spring can't be repaired as far as i'm aware then you've got the actual shock absorber itself okay and then you've got a number of different arms that provide additional suspension and support for the back end and there is a lot to come off, uh, and then you've got this little boy here, this sway bar rear end link. The, the sway bar basically gives the front and back end of the vehicles uh, stability, going around corners and, you know, at speed. Uh, so what I'll do is I'll just have a quick look and see what this shock absorber is for this vehicle. So it's in, in inventory now, and obviously because it's still together, it'll be under here. And you can see it's a front shock absorber. Yeah, pretty pretty straightforward. Now, to build build it up, we actually need three different parts, okay? So we need uh, the 
inner damper itself, the spring, and then the, the top end of that to actually build it on the spring puller. Okay, I'm back. A uh, bit of a problem. I was just looking to edit the video and splice and dice it all together. Uh, it seems I've... Mm, yeah, I've recorded it and the mic wasn't on for part of it, so... What I'm going to do is just kind of do a bit of a, <clears throat> a bit of a fill in just to explain exactly what uh, how I intend to splice this together. Yes, so I've actually, and I do have the rest of the video where I've completed the uh, the uh, the Sylvia that was on this ramp. It's outside right now because I don't want to spoil the uh, the end result. So I've recorded it all to the end, but I've had to come back after I've recorded it because I've I've got part of this video that doesn't have any sound. If that makes any sense. So where it left off is where. I was just basically talking about the the spring pull and how to to do the uh, the different uh, types of suspension. Now the suspension that's needed on the Sylvia is basically, as you can see here, oh, let's just go into the add stuff in. Is well, it won't come up here, but it's a it's a standard uh, front shock absorber. And to build that, I think that's what I was actually trying to explain. Let me just see if I've still got the old one in inventory, uh, because that's what I was actually showcasing just before I lost the sound. So here we go, this is the shock absorber. You see this is one that's actually uh, pretty broken, all the rest of it. So to take that to pieces, and I don't think I've covered this already. No, I don't want to sell it. I want to I want to rip it to pieces. So you come on here, because let's say you were able to repair it. You'd split the, uh, the parts off it. So you'd say I want to split the parts off, let's say this one, which is at 13%. It'll start to split. And then you take it off. And then when you go to inventory now, normally it would all be boxed up. Uh, as these two are, but now it's not boxed up, it's not, not combined as a unit, so now it will actually be, suspension wise, you'll be able to see the bits and pieces for that suspension unit is uh, a rear spring, actually it's the front one, so it's not that one, it'll be this one here, it'll be the front shock absorber, the front spring, and then the, the uh, so that's the cap, and then the front shock absorber A. To put that back together, uh, let's say we just wanted to put it back together as is, yeah, you, you just reverse engineer it. You, know, you just say, okay, I want to I want to join the parts together. Obviously, there's no point in doing this, but I'm just doing it for the, for the video, basically. Uh, and you put it back together. One thing I will say is when you're getting shock, uh, shock absorber parts is there's quite a few, okay, different shock absorbers. So just make sure you figure out which bits you need. And just to give you a quick indication of that, when you go to the tablet, or rather the computer for some of you and you pick, oh what am I doing in there, I don't want to be in there Jack, get out of there mate, get out of there, that's not good uh, when you pick suspension you see there's all these different ones, double double wishbone shock absorber uh, the uh, rear and air suspension and then you've got front shock here, front shock A and B again different, these are generally the same the shock absorber cap and the front spring these two generally will fit any front shock absorber when you come to the rear, you've got a rear shock absorber and a rear spring. You've also got a rear air suspension shock. So just be aware, making sure you pick the right bits to build them together. Otherwise, you're going to get stuffed. Okay, so <clears throat> what I'm going to do now is jump back into the original video. I just wanted to kind of explain why it's going to jump around a little bit. So what you're going to see in the next clip is basically all of the, the uh, Sylvia has been rebuilt pretty much you know all the back end uh, running gear and brakes and front end running gear and brakes it's all been done and that's the bit of the video that I don't have with any sound on I don't think there's any purpose in putting it in I mean, it's just it's just gonna you're gonna be watching a screen of me running around with no sound apart from the game sound there's no mic there's no commentary which is pretty boring uh, anyway so I'll leave you to that and I'm going to switch now to the, the bit of the video that does have the sound and then the rest of it is good and it, we still get to the end plates, you still get all the good stuff so don't worry too much about it and I'm, I'm sure we'll, we'll make this work. Okay, okay, we're back in the room. So, uh, pretty much all the back end is now done. Uh, needs a fuel tank, needs a fuel pump and it needs uh, a gearbox and a drive shaft which I think we have and then it needs an exhaust system. So when we come to the exhaust, uh, I'd like to put on a sports exhaust onto this to give it a bit more extra oomph, if there's one available. So it's the i4SR20. So if I mark that, okay, and then I mark, that's the front exhaust, that's the, all this section as well. A muffler, and then a rear muffler. 
let's just see if we can actually get those in the tuning store because we probably can't nope mid muffler you can De well I'm in the body what am I doing here hello you don't need to be in there my friend it's in the oh, no. never mind nope you can't get that one can you get this one yes so we're going to get two of these it's going to give us a 1.65 percent i know it's not the most cost efficient bang for buck i know i've done all the whole you know what are the best parts to get bang for buck but there is a rear muffler which is three percent and do we need two of those i think it is two that's going to give us uh another six percent increase surprise you can't get that one then that's a shame Hmm. Well, we still need it either way. I mean, you know, it's just because we can't get it in that store. We need to get it. I need two of them. I wonder why they didn't do... Someone was saying that, you know, why don't they... Why is it? Because it's going to restrict the flow if you get performance parts on... Is it only one I need? Does it go... Is it in a two-to-one? It's not even a two-to-one. Oh, never mind. I just bought two of these, didn't I? So it's not going to be six percent on this one either, is it? So I thought. Sorry, I thought there was two on the back. I don't know why. Not like it's a V8, is it? Well, I can put it on the other one, can't I? So it's not going to be wasted as such. Uh, now the gearbox. I'm just going to go with a standard gearbox. I'm not going to go with you know one of these fangled, you know. Uh, oops, let's get rid of that. Super duper gearboxes. Not on this build. We're not really going for the speed too much. We're just going to make it look give it a bit of extra power and make the car look as good as new pretty straightforward drive shaft in and then I don't think we need to be underneath the car again I don't think oh obviously for the fuel tank and fuel pump let's get that in there uh, how much is a enhanced fuel filter uh, fuel pump they're quite expensive. I think they're about 300, aren't they? Yeah, I thought so. 1.5. Nah, we'll just get the fuel tank and fuel uh, fuel pump from the uh, the general store. Yeah, we'll get one of those, and we'll get one of those. That'll do, mate. I think it's the uh, the big boost on this. It would be a. Uh, the fuel rail. I know the the air filter is, you know, it that gives you one percent, and it's like I know th it's fifteen credits or something stupid. Ah, let's not forget the starter motor, which we bought earlier, if you remember. Uh, apart from the tyres, I don't think there's anything else on the bottom end that we need to do. I think we're good, and if there is, it'll tell me for sure. You know how it is. So now it's just basically the. Uh, the engine bay needs sorted out. You know, we need to get a brake servo. We need to get all the reservoirs for all the, uh, you know, all the fluids and everything. Uh, so what we can do is we can take off everything that we have left here, which is not a great deal, to be fair. I mean, there's a fuse box. I need a radiator as well, I'm sure. Uh, did we take the fuse box? I think we did. There's not actually much more in here need a battery of course uh, what I'll do is I'll just see if we can fix anything we just took off I know it's just the ABS module uh, but you know oh we can oh, these are quite expensive so it'll be great if we could get that fixed uh, this I mean not worth anything is it really uh, but then what we need to do is be methodical is we have it'll need an ECU on it as well just out of curiosity it's worth now uh, 40 grand 40 grand profit it's worth 49,000 which is uh, you know it's a it's a it's a good chunk of money, that, isn't it? So we need the reservoir. Uh, we're going to need all the reservoirs. I'm not sure which coolant reservoir it needs, but it definitely needs this one. It definitely needs a windshield one. The coolant one can be, can vary on the vehicle, so I'm not actually sure which one it is I need. Uh, did I get a battery before? I did, yes. So this is the windshield reservoir, which is standard on all vehicles. And then for the reservoir it's a type D so we just uh, bang in there and get D that'll be this one and what's the 
got an intercooler. Of course, it has got a radiator A. So intercooler small. Oh, it, it's. I need to go back under the car for that one. But let's do what we're supposed to do. Let's get this one back on. Uh, we're going to need a brake servo. I don't think we've fixed a brake servo. I didn't think so. So we need a brake servo as well. Uh, do, 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 do. That's this one here. We've just put that in. Yes. And obviously we need the ECU, but I'll do that with the fuse box. Uh, that should be good. Now this is where I'm actually going to buy the, the performance air filter. It, it gives, I think, 1%. Yeah, and it's 35. This is the biggest 1% you can get in the entire game for the bang for buck. I mean, it, it's you know it's well worth it. Did we fix this cover? We did. Now the clips, are they clips A or B? I can't remember. The clips A. Uh, so that's what we need. I think I've got one. But you know what? I'm just going to get four. Be done with it. For now. And I say I'm not buying it for the other one because I don't know how much I'm going to do on the on the uh, the top end on the other car. I'm definitely going to do the running gear, uh, <coughs> or most of it, I think, and then just get rid and see how much how much money we can get for the shell uh, with a bit of running gear on it. Don't forget the clips because you can put it on and leave the car without them. But then of course I don't think it even start if the clips missing, which is ridiculous, really, isn't it? To be fair. Anyway, uh, radiator is uh, da -da -da, a. I guess it won't have a fan because it's got a fan built onto the engine itself. So it's this one here, and then I can fill up the coolants at some point. I don't think this has fans. No, it's got the fan already on the car here. Okay, well that's looking good. Uh, oh, ABS pump. And I think we bought the other part, didn't we? And we shouldn't have done, but I bought that earlier. Uh, well, that was lucky because it was missing. So it was worth 49,000 before, just before we added these little bits on. Now we've added these little bits on, uh, it's 55,000. I mean, just with those few bits, it's gone up dramatically. Okay, uh, the intercooler can go on. I need to go on to the underneath the car, the ECU Type A. But then I also need the fuse box, uh, which is there. I think we might have fixed the fuse box. No, we didn't. It's fuse box A. Okay, so what do we need? ECU Type A. Uh, da, 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 da. That'll be that'll be this one, and it's fuse box type A, and we also need the cover for that as well. And then we need to figure out what f how many fuses it needs, which is a real pain in the ass. Oh, this is quite a few. So we need a C, a B, an A, an A, a B, a B, an A. This is the easy way to do it. Relay type B. B, B, C, 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 A. I think that's it. Bit of a pain. Got all that. Got all that. Type C. Uh, type B. Three of. Fuse type. A, how many was that? Was it three? I think we'll find out. And they're so cheap anyway. And relay type B was three as well. Normally I keep a stack of these because you need so many of the damn things for the different cars. I keep like maybe 15 of each and they're so cheap. Uh, and then relay type A, which is the big one. Now that should give us sufficient then to put all these back in. Uh, and we're nearly home and dry. Again, takes a little bit of time. Um, mixed feelings about the fuses, to be fair. I mean, it's so easy to, you know, fault find. I mean, it's not like it, it does add, yeah, a little bit of visual gameplay. And yeah, I guess but putting these things in, fine. But when you're going to do it so many times, same with the fluids. Every job you get, pretty much, on the phone it says, oh, please replace the fluids as well. It gets a little tedious after a while. Because it's the same on every job. You know, at least you get if you get a car that needs brakes or exhaust or whatever or then exhaust and no brakes you know there's a bit of a mix up in there but there always seems to be on every single job you got to do the fluids so anyway uh this this bad boy is looking pretty good now uh let's have a quick look at the value 56000 now the next thing to do is the the tires and the rims and I'm going to do that offline because you guys know how to do the tires and all that good stuff I'm sure uh and it ain't rocket science and then uh put the wheels and tyres together, fill up the fluids, get a hood, get some windows, get mirrors, uh, then we'll look at the interior, detail in the interior, 
and then we're going to be able to sell this on and make a huge profit my friends okay so I'll, I'll see you soon hello we're back in the room so wheels are on looking pretty good eh topped all the levels up uh, all the uh, you know fluids and everything just need to put on this intercooler uh, which I believe is a small intercooler just need to shove this one on uh, ba, ba, ba. is it a medium one where is it where is it I can't read it doesn't matter we can just go here clear the filter oh I'm in the tire shop of course not gonna find it there am I okay thank you that's in uh, I'm just gonna make sure we've not forgotten anything go to the end pages I know that we've still got stuff to put in headlights and stuff like that but are we missing nothing engine wise okay so body wise the easiest way to do the body uh, I'm just wondering if they have any special body parts in the uh, body tuning store as opposed to the normal bod bodywork station. Uh, it's a Sylvia. Can you see a Sylvia on here? I can't. That's a bit. That's a bit. Isn't it? Okay. I guess they didn't get that far then. Then I'm missing something here. Alright, not to worry. We'll go up here. I'm sure they've got it in here. This on Sylvia. Alright, just so that I don't buy shit that I don't need. All we do here is we just say we need one of those. One of those. Well, I need all windows and lights, but I know that. Uh front right door left do we get one fender on we did didn't we we got a boot as well didn't we we did so that should be about it we should just need well let's just go do all the lights first so let's get and windows so we definitely one of those one of those I have a mirror for the right side I think Did I get that tailgate? I don't remember. Okay, let's see what we're missing. Oh dear, what was that? Looks like it'd been drinking. Uh, let's just see what we've got missing, if anything. A little annoying that it goes out of body build mode when you body build the mode when you move away from it. That looks a bit. Oh, it's because of the colour. I don't think it's just because I've got different colours on the car. It just didn't look like it fit properly. Okay, door on. I didn't get a left door. Oh no, I didn't get the doors, did I? Oh, there we go. Stupid. Left headlight we've got. Yeah, we've got all the headlights. Hood, thank you. Yeah, get one of those. And then we need the uh, right headlight right door that was what we wanted uh, front left door and then front left fender and then we should be good I know it's a long-winded build but it gives you a good idea of what you money you kind of money you're gonna make uh, which is one thing but I think probably more importantly it's really showing off the uh, the DLC and what you get for your money and it, don't remember I don't remember don't forget this is uh, only one of the cars there is four cars and you can look it up on Steam to see which cars you get but I think it's the Sylvia the GTR 35 or something and then there's a fair lady and one more I don't remember which one that is but I mean for the price four euros I mean you're getting four brand new cars and all the you know the kit and everything for them you know the engine and all that stuff which I think is uh, I'm not sure if it's proprietary to the to the Nissan range but that's looking nice isn't it we just need two uh, 
two plates and I get Arizona plates I think because I believe we are stationed in Arizona so let's get Arizona I don't need to put any words on there or anything let's just keep it simple oops let's put these on one there my friend oh it's looking nice isn't it even that dodgy color scheme it's looking good What are we missing now? Apart from the interior. We're only missing seat Sylvia, bench, blah blah blah. Just that's that's all we're missing. So if I get all that put in, uh, I'll take it outside so I can get into the car more easily. And then uh Yeah. Put the seats in and then we'll be going to, to paint, I guess. So see you in a bit. So here we are in the uh, interior shop. I thought you might just like to see this. This is the bench, uh, 387. Uh, two of these seats, 305 each. I do get 15% discount. And then the steering wheel. So let's just uh, put these in real quick and let's see how it, how it actually looks. Uh, put them in, thank you. Oh, okay, maybe you didn't want to put them in. I did, but I did want to put them in. Thanks. Didn't have, there was no bench seat. The seat was completely missing in the uh, in the car, and these seats were pretty shagged. Nice, eh? The old stereo there. Okay, so everything should be 100%, I think, shouldn't it? Yay, 100%, what's it worth? Oh, jeepers creepers. 92,000 credits. Bloody hell, that's a lot. Okay, all that remains then, I know we need paint, uh, I'm not going to run the dyno just yet, what I'd rather do is just make sure, before we take it on the, on the, on the fast track, is just make sure we've got all the, uh, oh, fell down, fell down the hole, ah, shit, where am I? <laughs> Get out the hole. Seriously? Oh my goodness me. It's like a death trap. I want to align the wheels. Otherwise, it ain't going to be running straight. It's going to be all over the place when you do the the speed test. So I'll just do this real quick, <clears throat> and for what it's worth, I mean, I don't really want to do it because it doesn't add anything to the car at all. Is the stupid lights? That's not done. I don't I don't understand what this is for over here, really. Apart from the light, it doesn't. Oh look, that's a line now apparently. Oh, that's way off, Jesus. Okay, that's that done. Yeah, done. Okay. Then let's take this bad boy out. It's right hand drive, isn't it? Must be an import. British? Would it be? It doesn't matter. Anyway, get in the car. Come on, get in, get in, get in. Drive the car to the speed track, I believe. And what's it going to say? Car won't start? No. Uh, okay. So here we are at the old uh, track. Let's uh, get going. Oh, it's funny how you can hear that turbo. That's pretty cool. It's not a slow car. I mean, it's not up there with the, the fastest, but it's not bad. Not bad at all.
I know you see a lot of YouTubers, you know, jumping over the fence and smashing into that, smashing into the wall. I'm not a big fan of smashing into the wall. I, you know, I've just built the car. I know it's only a game, but you know what I mean. Anyway, that's not bad at all, is it? So, 237. Let's just try one more run. Let's see if we can, if we can back it up. I don't think we're going to get much out of it, to be fair. Two thirty seven to beat. Mm. Probably not going to beat it. Um, oh, that hurts. 238, 238. Let's see if that makes a difference. is the last run. Best of three. Come on. Let's see if we can get to 240. We could of course put a gearbox in it and then it would fly a little faster I guess. The wall. Anyway, okay. That's what it is. 239. I'm happy with that. That's not bad. Okay, let's go back to the uh, the workshop and get this uh, bad boy some paint on. Okay. So, great. Let's uh, move this uh, bad boy into paint and then we're going to take it to the dyno as the last part of the, the Sylvia trip. Okay. We have nothing to tune up, we just need to start the dyno. It should be fun to see what we get. 250 is a measured brake horsepower for this vehicle in standard condi or standard uh, spec. We've added a couple of bits and pieces, we've added a, an air filter and we've added some exhaust components as well. So, it, ooh, sorry, start test, come on. So, it should, uh, it should be a little bit higher. I'm, I'm, guessing around about maybe three four percent maybe just yeah about four percent I think it should be maybe a little more one thing I found with 2018 that you always got a uh, bit of a higher percentage than what it was reported in the in the store Wow Wow plus 15 percent that's not bad at all is it I'm sure it was only air filter and exhaust that we put on. Okay. So I was going to do the paint, then the dyno. I did the dyno then, and then the paint. So I've got it mixed up, but don't worry about it. Don't worry. Small things like that. Life's too short to worry about things like that. Okay, so let's get this bad boy painted up. Uh, I don't know if there's a livery available on it. Uh, we can certainly see if there is a livery. So let's go straight to, to here. Uh, livery set. Hello, livery. There is no livery. Fine. You know what? Let's just give it a, a standard, uh, a standard paint job. I mean, its original factory colour is white. Let's go with that. I don't really mind. Uh, paint's great, but car is dirty and unprepared for paint. Do you want to prepare car? Oh yeah, God. I didn't realise yet. I didn't. First time I've seen that. First time I've seen that. Brilliant. Yeah, just take it I don't mind it's fine okay that is one nice looking car let's get it outside in the sunlight
That is really nice. Okay, well, I'm not going to sell it right now. I need to take a few photos and all that stuff. Uh, but you can see here, it is the DLC pack. It is now worth uh, everything is 100%. It has a overrated now uh, power. It's got 264 as opposed to 250 brake horsepower, which is wonderful. It is now worth 92,000, which would give me a profit of 83. Uh, when I do the final car, which I'll do the third part on the final car, it'll only be a very short video. But uh, yeah, there you go. So I really hope that this has showcased the Nissan DLC to some extent. I know it's just one car, but twice if you like. But I really hope that you know it's given you kind of an appetite to maybe you know buy the uh, DLC pack if you think it's worth it. I certainly think it's worth it for four euros. There's a lot of work gone into it, and you get some you know beasts like this to build. Absolutely gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. So. Once again, thank you so much for dropping by. Thank you for listening to me now through two episodes of this Nissan DLC. If you've stuck around that long, if you haven't, well, thanks for at least visiting and, and popping your head around the door. Uh, I really do appreciate you stopping by and listening. And, you know, drop me a comment so at least I know that someone's interacting with me. And, uh, yeah, subscribe if you like this kind of stuff. Two to three videos a week. Yeah, can't be that bad, can it? Cheers. Thanks for listening. Jack's out.